Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. Amen, amen, amen. May we may have our seats now. God is good and he is gracious in all his ways. Amen. Amen. We bless the Lord for his gracious and merciful. God is good. Amen. Amen. You know, I feel like saying this word that the Lord has put in my spirit. That there are times of refreshing that are coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You may have been going through difficult times, but the Lord is putting in me, Joel 2.25, that God is bringing times of refreshing. He is bringing time of restoration. Child of God, hold on there with God. Don't depart from Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He has good plans for you. Hold on there. There's a times of refreshing that are coming forth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And today I would like us to speak about, or the word of God is coming from the from the theme, the ways of God. The ways of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The ways of God. You know, there are some times we pray and we wait on God. And, and we are waiting for God to move in a particular way. Hallelujah. Amen. We are waiting on God to speak to us in a particular way. And sometimes God does not do the way we want him to do. He does not go the way we want him to go. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I see Mary and Lazarus, glory to God, Amen. calling on Jesus, sending a messenger because their, their brother was sick. Rasta was, was sick, amen? amen? But the Bible says Jesus started. Jesus did not just go. And four days went by and Lazarus died. Hallelujah. Amen. They were waiting on the master. And they were wondering, what is it? The master has not come. Hallelujah. Amen. It would have been very discouraging for them. But the Bible says Jesus went later on when Lazarus was already in the grave. Hallelujah. Amen. What are you going through? Jesus raised Lazarus. What are you going through? Sometimes God directs us to do something in a way we never wanted to do or we never, we never thought about it. We wanted to do it in a particular way. But how God is instructing us to go, it looks very different. And sometimes we, we feel like, is it God? Are we going to do it? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking about the ways of God. Sometimes when he got born again, I remember very well. We were very excited, I remember. And especially when he got born again, that's a power-packed gospel preaching, I mean gospel message. And you've seen miracles and signs and wonders. And there you are excited to receive Jesus Christ. And what you're hoping for is that like, your life will change tremendously at a goal. Hallelujah. Amen. But within no time, if you do not have a job, you get a job. Not only a job, you are thinking you get a big job. Hallelujah. Amen. And sometimes you are thinking you're not married. Imagine you're going to get a spouse to marry you tomorrow you'll be married. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, there's that thinking that God is going just to go like pop and it is done. Hallelujah. Amen. But then it takes time and we feel like we are disappointed. Glory to God. Amen. It takes time and we feel like, where is God? Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We think change will occur immediately. Hallelujah. Amen. And when it doesn't happen, we get discouraged. Glory to God. Amen. Others may have heard from God clearly that you are called to ministry. You are called to preach the word and God is anointing you for a great big ministry and you are there and you're saying hallelujah I'm there and you begin and you begin to preach expecting to see a great multitude expecting to see great things at once hallelujah Amen. but when you start having challenges when you start having hardships and you are saying I'm struggling you say did I hear from God here did God call me hallelujah Amen. is God in it with me I don't know child of God where what you are going through I don't know Glory to God. Amen. I don't know what you are saying. As they said in the, in, the, in, the, in the book of Isaiah, that the ways of God, our ways are hidden from God. Amen? Amen. Are you saying that way? My ways are hidden from God? Because you have looked right and left, you are not seeing God? Hallelujah. Amen. Job was there one time, and he said, I look for God. I look for even the place he works miracles. But I could not find him. But one thing, I, I, he said, one thing I know. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That he knows the way I take. Glory to God. Amen. Then, hallelujah. Amen. So, is God unfair? Is God unconcerned? Oh, no, somebody. I've come to tell you, God is still on the throne. Amen. Amen. And God is going to do what he promised. Hallelujah. Amen. It's funny that we think God will work in a particular way, but God has his own way. Hallelujah. Amen. God has his own way of doing things. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's Amen. how we want things done. But it's how God does them. There's how we want things fixed. But there's how. There's a way how God fixes it. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is us to know. Because God says our ways is not his ways. Glory to God. Amen. He has said in Isaiah 55 verse 8 to 9. 
that, as, that my ways are not your ways, neither are my thoughts your thoughts. He is saying, as heaven is higher from the earth, hallelujah, Amen. so are my ways higher than your ways. So are my thoughts higher than my thoughts, uh, higher than your thoughts, amen? Amen. God is still thinking about you. Glory to God. Amen. And he says in Jeremiah 29, 11, that is we, the thoughts he has for you are for good and not for evil. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Though you see things are not working. There are people who are asking, how is God? The way things are happening. Oh God, where are you? Are we hidden from you? No. God has a way of dealing with matters, amen? amen. That's why Jesus taught us to say Hallelujah. Amen. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on that other things in heaven. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why even Jesus prayed to get someone and said, Not my will, Father, but your will be done. Glory to God. Amen. And that's how we should look at issue. It is time we yield to the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time we submit to the ways of God and not our ways. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Because when we start knowing the ways of God, we start getting results. When we start submitting to the ways of God, we experience great results. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Bible tells us there is a way in Proverbs 16.25, there is a way that looks good to a man. It looks right. But in the, in the end, there are ways that reach to death. Hallelujah. Amen. There's what we want things to be done. There's what we desire to see happen. But sometimes what we desire to see happen and the way we take sometimes does not reach prosperity, does not reach profitableness. Hallelujah. Amen. God sees the big picture. Amen. God sees the kingdom picture. Amen. In anything you do, in any way you take, God sees how is it going to affect the kingdom of God? How is it going to impact on the kingdom? Glory to God. Amen. Because you are part of the kingdom. Sometimes we want to do things in our way, follow yeah. our, our, our selfish desires. But God is looking at the impact for the kingdom and for his people. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Which way are you pursuing? Amen. Amen. If things are not working, is God with us? Is God going in our way? Hallelujah. Amen. Dear child of God, what are you passing through today? God has not left you. That's what I've come to tell you. God has not left you. God is even closer to you in the things you are going through. You may be going away tough times. You may say, the way I'm taking, I think God has deserted me. God has not deserted you. God has his way of doing things. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. In fact, sometimes we try to take away and our own way and fight God's way. When God sees a particular way, we meet it is hard time. Amen. We meet their struggles and challenges. We say, no, this cannot be the way of God. And we start changing and taking our own ways. Glory to God. Amen. And we start fighting the, fighting the way of God. Listen, somebody. Sometimes God will not remove the fires from your way. Hallelujah. Amen. God will not remove the waters. The fires will be there. The waters will be there. But one as sure as I can say, he says, even if you pass through the fire, it will not burn you. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if you pass through the waters, the floods, they will not take you up. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because God will want to see his glory. The world to see his glory in your life that they may glorify God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So sometimes we may be asking and wanting God to remove a situation in our lives. He may be, you may be saying, God remove this situation. But God want you to go through it. But one thing I can assure you is, it shall not harm you. His presence shall go with you. Amen. His goodness shall go with you. Amen. His kindness shall be with you. Oh, he yes. shall be your covering. Hallelujah. Amen. He shall hide you. Glory to God. Amen. He shall go through it and people will ask you, how did you manage it? Like now you're having this time of coronavirus. We will go through it and people will say, how did Kenya manage it? Hallelujah. Amen. How did Africa manage it? But I can tell you, when we walk with God, Hallelujah. The situation may not be removed, but it cannot harm us. Amen. We will go through, and none of us shall even have the smell of fire, the smell of smoke. No one will even think that we went through the fire. Amen. Somebody may be going through the fire today, but I'm here to tell you, from, other, from the fire, out of the fire, you don't even smell smoke. Amen. Because God is going to go with you. If you are with God, hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you somebody, you ask, why God? Why me? Why these things are happening? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What I can tell you is that his ways are not always understandable to men. Amen. Because you say, why did God allow me this to happen to my family? Why did God allow this to happen to my marriage? Amen. Why did God allow this to happen to my children? Yeah. Why did God allow this to happen to my business? And I was praying. You know, one time I was praying to God. 
when you are to first get the first child, the first baby. And I was praying, and I remember your other brothers I was praying for, they were to get children. And I can tell you, one of the guys there, and the, and an issue, and, and the blood of, of the mother, and an issue in the sense that the, the blood in the child may not go on with, well with the blood of the, of the baby. And they are the ones who look like they have complications during birth. And I was praying for them. And I prayed for my friends. We got married all the at the same time. But I also prayed for my wife, always putting my hand on her hoop and pressing and saying, God bless this, this baby. But I cannot really tell you what happened. We lost our first baby after prayer. And I remember that time when I went to Kenya hospital and I was told the baby is no more. And I came and my, and my wife was in ICU that time. And I remember coming to the house at that time I don't sleep. And I was going through scriptures and saying, God does not your word say. Did I not pray? Did I not ask you? Did I not ask you, Lord? Did I not pray? How can this happen to me, oh God? Amen. And I was feeling disappointed, discouraged. The whole night I not sleep. I remember I slept and my, I got cause caught up by sleep. And, and I slept with my Bible on, on, on my hands. And when I woke up, it was still there and I was still asking God. But by the morning, I changed my story. I remember the story of Job. And I said, God, I've been speaking like a foolish man. Because you know of my way, oh God. Amen. You know of my way, oh God. Amen. Yes, my wife may have gone through, we may have gone through this. But she will not die. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall see you, oh God. And I can tell you, God turn around my story. Amen. He can turn around your story. Amen. He has a better things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He came back and blessed me. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know there are people who have questions. There are people who have hard times and they are hard pressed. They have taken away, but things are not working. You have been trying to get married, and every time you have been rejected by three men now. Every time you are arranging for a marriage for to get your wedding, it is, does not happen. And you are saying, why God me? Hey, why me? Hallelujah. There's Amen. nothing wrong with you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. I see in the Bible, women who have been barren, like Hannah. She may have been asking, do not ask why me, she pray and say, God. And when the time was right, God came up. I have to tell you, the ways of men are not the ways of God. Hallelujah. Amen. His ways are not always understandable by man. Romans 11, 3 says, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways are past finding out. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And also he says in, in 2 Samuel, hallelujah, Amen. he says in 2 Samuel 22, that one, that the ways of God are perfect. Amen. The ways of God are perfect. Amen. He is just in all his ways. Yeah. He is righteous in all his ways. Glory yeah. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time we get to know our God. Yeah. The most important thing is the way you have taken mm. is God with you. Yes. Is God with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I can tell you, it doesn't matter what you come your way. The most important thing is when you are led of God, you can fear nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. When God is the one leading you, yes. you know, one time. I was, I, I was a hand of a youth yes. in a certain church where I was fellowshipping those days. And there was this sister. She was, she was well blessed by God. She was doing well in her business. And I can tell she had started going even to college. She had gone back to school. And she came and asked me, because I was like a youth pastor then. She asked me, Pastor, how is it that God has blessed me? My business are doing well. Uh, and I've gone back to school. My life is good. But I've been praying for this many years. And he has not given me somebody to marry me. Hallelujah. Amen. And I told her, wait on God. After some few days, she came again and said, no, what I will do is, I cannot wait any longer. God is delaying. I'll look for a man and get a baby. And I can tell you, she went ahead and got, and got pregnant and got a baby. But what, is, what am I trying to say? Right now, as I'm saying, she may have rearranged. What she did was not the way of God. Amen. Because when you go away from the ways of God to your ways, Bible says, as you have read, there are ways that look right to a man. Amen. But in the end, they lead to death. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I can tell you, the most important thing is, is God with you? Is God in you with what you are doing? If he is, don't worry about the challenges. If he is with you and you have had clearing, it is God. And the way you have taken, God has spoken to you. Don't worry. Press on. Hallelujah. Amen. Press on. Because God will make it come to pass somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he says, I is the good shepherd. Hallelujah. Amen. He will lead you to green pastures. Glory to God. Amen. He make you lie beside still waters. Hallelujah. Amen. He will restore your soul. Glory to God. Amen. He is the master of 
the wilderness. He makes pools of water in the wilderness, somebody. Are you in the wilderness? Are you, are you wondering what to do? He makes pools of water in the wilderness. He makes a forest. He creates a forest in the wilderness. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He is Amen. God and he will see you through. I'm here to encourage you, somebody. God will make you through. Glory to God. Amen. I'm looking at the book of Exodus 13. When God delivered Israel in a mighty hand from Egypt. God did miracles. He shook Egypt's economy. He shook the gods of Egypt. He shook the magicians of Egypt. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Even Pharaoh had to bow and say, there's a God of Israel. God of Moses is God. I let you go. Hallelujah. Amen. But what surprises me is from verse 17 to verse 18. Glory to God. Amen. That the Bible says that God, hallelujah, Amen. led the children of Israel from Egypt. Hallelujah. Amen. He led them not through the way of the Philistines, for it was nearer. Amen. It was nearer, Amen. but he never led them in that way. Yes. But the Bible says he led them through the way of the wilderness. Yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we want short casts. We want God just to do it and yes. miss that that happened. Amen. Why could God, why did God lead them through the way mm -hmm. of, of, of the wilderness and not through the way of the Philistines? Because yes. God is saying, he said, if these people face war, they'll return to Egypt. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God had a reason. Glory to God. Amen. And how did he do it? He led them in a way where there's no way. The Bible says they reached a point and met the Red Sea. They could not proceed. Before them was the Red Sea. Behind them was Pharaoh's army. And they, and they cried. They forgot the miracles of God. And they cried. Hallelujah. Amen. They cried to Moses. Did you bring us here to die? Probably you are saying, God led me this way. But why is it happening, these things? God is going to make a way where there's no way. Amen. You have reached and met yourself. Yet if God led you that way, he will make a way for you. Yes. Do not worry. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God makes a way where there's no way. Hallelujah. Amen. If he didn't see in a press, he will take you through. Glory to God. Amen. They found themselves faced with death. But what did God want to do? God wanted to destroy their pursuers. Amen. There's a way God will lead you. Because he wants to raise some demons. That have been pursuing your life. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to get rid of some evil things that have been pursuing your life. Amen. He knew that if he took them through the way of the Philistines, they will meet with the Philistines, they will come back, and the Pharaoh will be following them, and they will be crushed. But they do not know that. Amen. There are many things you don't understand. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. God may be leading you that way because He is saving you from a far worse pain, from a far worse oppression. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God has a plan. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, God led them. There, he did not lead them in a shorter route, but in a longer route. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God is not about quick fixing of things. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It's about doing something that will remain. Hallelujah. Amen. Something that will stand out. Mm. Something that will be firm. Amen. Not today. It is done for you. Tomorrow you are in trouble again. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It does not matter which you say, you, 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 where you say, you, you take. As far as I know, if it is God led, you don't have to worry. Amen. God has a reason in everything. God has a purpose in everything. Yes. And even the way he takes you through, he has a reason and a purpose. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So why did you in the way of wilderness? Why let you go struggles? Yet he is able to deliver you. People are saying, why does not God just make us free? And this coronavirus would have gone on time. Why allow it? Because nothing happens to the earth if God will not allow it. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you cut it in everything, there's an opportunity. Yes. In everything, there's a positive side. Yes. If you can look at it, God has something he wants from his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You go through it, it shall not burn you. Yes. You will go through it, it shall not kill you. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. God has a purpose in everything. Yes. Why does he lead you in the way he is leading you? Yes. Why are you saying, my ways are hidden from God? I think it's, uh, we need to change our language. We need to change what we've been speaking. Glory to God. Amen. We need to stop saying our ways are hidden. Glory to God. Amen. God is everywhere. Amen. His presence is everywhere. Amen. He is El Lord. God is seeing you. Amen. God is feeling you. Amen. God understands you. Amen. Hallelujah. But there's something you're saying. Why the way of the wilderness? One is training. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. God will allow you to be trained. Hallelujah. Amen. The children of Israel, they have been slaves all the way, all the days of their lives. 
They are not known to fight. They are not known to hold swords. And while God was taking them, God knew very well that the land he has given them, there are inhabitants there, some big like giants, some experienced in war. And for them, Israel, to take over the land, they will need to conquer those people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, God will go with them. But it's the children of Israel who are to fight and get their possessions. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why he led the way of the wilderness. That he may train them to make war. He may train them to be soldiers who are bold. He may train them to be soldiers who are skilled. Hallelujah. Somebody, when God calls you to ministry, he will take you through a way of training so that you can be able to bring results. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He took them there of the wilderness yes. because he was training them. Because yes. as the Bible says in Hebrews 12, yes. whichever son God receives, he must train him. Hallelujah. Amen. And even us, when we are born again, God trains us. We were born to reign. As in Romans 5, 17 says, that he has given us abundant grace and the gift of righteousness, that we may reign in life by Jesus Christ. Amen. But I tell you, for us to reign, Amen. God has to train us. Amen. It is kings who used to go to battle. Amen. God has called us to be kings and priests. Amen. If we are to reign in this earth with Christ, then we must allow God to train us as kings. Amen. He must allow God to train us in battle. Oh, and to yes. reach a point where David reached in the wilderness after being trained in Psalm 44, 144. And he says, Blessed be the Lord my God. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teaches my hands to, to war and my fingers to fight. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the struggles, it's the challenges that come our way. That through them, God teaches us to make spiritual warfare. He teaches us to pray. He teaches us to have faith Amen. and to stand and conquer. He Amen. teaches us to cast out devils oh, and yes. destroy demons. Yes. There's a time I used to preach as I'm doing now. And I, I used to preach and preach. But I was not seeing the power of God until I went to the witness. I went to the place of preaching. I was alone and I was ministering to people. And came, people came with sicknesses, yes. came possessed. What do I do? That's where God taught me how to cast out devils. He taught me how to lay hands on the sick and the people. There is a school of the Holy Spirit. And I can tell you for sure, the school of the Holy Spirit is not in your comfort zone. It is not in your bedroom, I can tell you. It's not in your living room while you're watching your TV. The school of the Holy Ghost is in the wilderness. That's why he catches up with you, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he says, whoever he does not train, then cannot be son of God. Amen. He says, whichever son he receives, he must train. Mm -hmm. If he's not trained, then he says, that's a bastard. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. You can read that in Hebrews 12, 6 to 8. Glory to God. Amen. The second thing why we pass through this is God tests us. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, why should God test us? It's a principle even used in the world. There's no equipment or even a car or even a vaccine released for use without being tested first. If God is going to use you, if yeah. God is going to give you responsibility yeah. and, and trust you with his anointing and power, yeah. he must also test you. Why? Is it because God does not know what is in your hands? No. God knows what is in your hands. But he takes you through testing. He permits temptation, testing, so that that which is in you can come out. If there is weakness, God will strengthen you. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. He allows testing. Glory to God. Amen. We can see that Jesus is very sad. When he was bringing his ministry, after baptism, the Holy Spirit led him to the wilderness to be tempted, to be tested. For the days and for the nights, we knew it was tested. Glory to God. Amen. When you are tested and go through, you then you get the approval of God. That now he can trust you with great things. Glory to God. Amen. Child of God, are you going through temptations? Are you going through testing? You can hold on. God will keep you. God will sustain you. God will strengthen you. He tests you to find out whether there's weakness. And then deals with that weakness to strengthen you. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not murmur. Do not complain. The children of Israel did not understand God. They went to the wilderness and forgot that God has a purpose for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The second, the third thing that God, I may not exhaust all, but the third one is that God took them through the wilderness to remove the slave mentality. Amen. And allow them, make them to know they are free and they are children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they left Egypt. They were away from Egypt. But Egypt was in their hearts. Amen. And through the wilderness, it is when God wanted to remove the Egypt from their hearts. Amen. He wanted to remove the attitude of slavery. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's when you see in the wilderness, they forgot the works of God, yeah. the miracles of God. Yeah. They did not know the ways of God. They knew his miracles. The Bible says, but Moses knew the ways of God. Amen. They complained and murmured. 
God gave them water, they still complained. God gave them manna, they still complained. God gave them the meat to eat, they still complained. They are this mentality of a slave. Yes. And that's how we were when we got born again. Yes. We were slaves to sin. We were slaves to the world. We walked after the manner of the last of the flesh. Glory to God. Amen. And when we got born again, sometimes God allows us to go through to develop us. Glory to God. Amen. To destroy the things of the flesh. To remove the lusts of the flesh. Glory to God. Amen. To remove the desires of the flesh. Yes. The desires of the world. Glory to God. Amen. To remove where we had bondage. Some of us walked after our senses. We did all manner of things that we felt like. Our emotions, our feelings, we could not control them. We were slaves. But now after we receive Jesus Christ, we receive the spirit of freedom. God takes us through the wilderness to destroy all those slave mentality Amen. and make us people. It's a way of maturing. Glory to God. Amen. Wilderness matures us. It facilitates maturity yes. to learn to walk with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. As it is in Galatians 4.1, that the hair, as long as he is a child, differeth not, not from a servant. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Though he be Lord of all, as far as you are child, though you be Lord of all, you don't differ from a servant. And that's why God allows us to mature. Hallelujah. Amen. The things you are going through somebody, they may be just things allowed by God to bring maturity. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The fourth one is that you may learn humility and service. Hallelujah. Amen. Humility and service. Moses was a prince in Egypt. Moses lived a life where if he says something as a prince, you must obey. Mm. It was by order. Moses lived with a sword. Yeah. If you don't obey the king, you die. Amen. That was the rule in Egypt. Yes. But Moses could not take the children of God and lead them in that same order. Yes. God took him to the wilderness. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And there he humbled him. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He was taught by Jethro. A man who was not a king, not from a parish. Yes. A person who was a shepherd. Amen. And he learned shepherdhood. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I can tell you he left Egypt with a sword. Hallelujah. Amen. But he went to the wilderness. He learned to use the shepherd staff. Yeah. He left the palace in Egypt with a sword. Yeah. But when he went to the wilderness, he came back to face Pharaoh, not with a sword, Amen. but with a shepherd staff. Yes. That is meekness. Oh, when yes. you go before God, yeah. when you have God and you know God is your deliverer, yeah. God is your redeemer, glory to God. Oh, yes. And the Bible says Moses was the most meek person on the earth that time. Oh, yes. He was the meekest that time. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. He got it from the wilderness. Amen. When you go through hard times, we get to value other people. Amen. When we see, go through situation, you understand what other people go through. Oh, yes. When you go through hardship, maybe in that manner, you know how people who do not have anything to eat, oh, they yes. feel right. Because one day you felt it. Yes. Hallelujah. That's oh. why Paul says, I know how to abound and I know how to be abased. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He knew how, what is rack and he knew what is abundance. Glory to God. Amen. When you come through the wilderness, we learn to trust God. Yes. Hallelujah. We see God's faithfulness. Glory to God. Amen. Because when you are going through that situation, God goes with you. Glory to God. Amen. God went with the children of Israel. He was a crown of, of a pillar of crown by day to keep them from the heat. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he was a crown of fire by night to keep them from the cold. He provided water from the rock, which was Christ. Glory to God. Amen. He gave them manna to eat. He took care of them in the wilderness. Glory to God. Amen. They learned that God is faithful in hard times and in good times. Oh, yeah. When you go through the wilderness, through the hardship we know, in all times, God, he changes not. And we can be able to hold on him. Glory to God. Amen. And we can say like David in Psalm 20, verse 7, that some trust in chariots, others trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord. Amen. For you to say that, and it means you have gone somewhere and you have seen the faithfulness of the master. You have seen the faithfulness of God. When you had a lot, when you are in no problems, you still had, God was still faithful. And now things are not working, God is still faithful. And you are going to be able to wait for him. For them that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. God never fails. Amen. Amen. He says, I'll never fail you. I'll not forsake you, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, we yes. get to know God better. Like Job and say, we used to hear of God, but we, now we have seen him. Hallelujah. Job went through testing. Job went through hunting, but he says, I have seen God. Yes. My dear viewer, oh, yes. it is time to yield to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time to yield to his ways. Yes. It is good to forsake our ways oh, yes. and yield to God's way. Amen. It is time to look at the way you've been taking. Oh, yes. Take time. Take time. Take stock yes. of the way you are taking. Take stock. 
stock yes. of the things you've been thinking. Oh, yes. Take stock of the things you've been planning. Yes. For the Bible says, commit your ways to God. Yes. Commit your ways. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. Yes. And you shall prosper. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. It is time to stop telling God, follow us. You know, we pray and say, God, I'm taking this way. Can you go with me? God, I'm taking this way. Can you follow me? Hallelujah. Amen. And then we place challenges. But it's time we stop telling God, follow me. It is time to, to allow to hear the voice of God that says, come. Hallelujah. Amen. May we now be led of God. May we let of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May we talk in the spirit and not in the flesh. Amen. May we hear what God is saying and follow him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you do that child of God, there are things that you read in our lives. We will stop complaining. We will stop murmuring. We will stop crying. Amen. And seeing God has forgotten us. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I reach that point? And he said, I will not see Benina anymore. Yes. I say, I'm going to cry to God. He knows my way. Amen. And when he cried to God, God had his pray our prayer and gave us son. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here to tell you somebody, there is no time to whine or cry. Yes. It is time to trust in the Lord. Amen. It is time to hold on him. Oh, and yes. see, are we led of God? Are we in the ways of God? Yes. Amen. Sometimes you say, we don't want to receive Jesus. Amen. But we want God to go with us for what we want to do. Oh, yes. But Jesus is the way. Amen. Jesus is the way to the world for everyone. You can come to the right way yes. by receiving Jesus Christ Amen. as your Lord and Savior. Amen. He says, no one can go to the Father apart from me. Amen. So it is good to receive Jesus. Amen. Today you can say, I'm changing my ways. Yes. And the way I've changed my ways to accept God's way. Oh, yes. Today you can say, I'll stop that relationship. It's not godly. Yeah. It is not God. I'm not yet married, but I have a boyfriend. I'm doing all manner of like somebody who's married. Amen. You can say, I'll stop it today yes. and follow the way of righteousness. Yes. You can say, I'll stop calling people and stealing from them, borrowing from them, knowing very well I'll not pay it back. Amen. That is not the way of God. Yes. It is good to pay you a debt, somebody. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time to come back to God, somebody. Spend time with God. Amen. Stop crying over what you are going through, Amen. but spend time with God. And God will bless you. Amen. I would like us to finish. And as you are finishing, if you are there and you are saying, I want to come to God's way. You'll be in your way. But I want to receive Jesus as the way. Because he is the way that truth and life. You pray and pray after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus I come to you. I, come to I am a sinner. I am a forgive, sinner. My sins forgive my sins. And wash me and wash with your precious blood. Your precious come into blood. my heart. To be my, my Lord and Savior. And, and now lead me in your ways. And the ways of righteousness and of, and of eternal righteous. life. In, in Jesus' life. name we pray. In Jesus name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, God has saved you. Follow God, read the Bible from the book of John, chapter 1, pray, he will give you a revelation. Amen. And he will make you, give you understanding. After this period that we are quarantined, join a church that preaches Jesus, that the Bible-breathing church, and that believes in the Holy Ghost, and you shall be trained and strengthened. Amen? Amen. I want to pray for you, viewer. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the viewers who have risen to the world. Some of them are going through hard times. Some of them are saying their ways are hidden from God. Yes. Some are saying God has forgotten me. Mm -hmm. But I thank you, Lord, because you have not forgotten them. That those you have for them are for good, not for evil. Yes. Today I pray that you go before them, Lord. 